Guys, welcome back to another video, and in this video, we're going to be continuing on with our Swift UI tutorial series. And in this particular tutorial, we are going to be taking a look at how we can uh, how we can go and detect changes to our state and execute some code based on that change. Now, generally the you know kind of the basic way of handling state is that uh, the state changes and then the UI updates and all that without us having to do much of anything however maybe there are points where you need to execute some custom code when a specific state value changes and maybe you need to also determine what that value is that it got changed to in order to, you know, update any other parts of the user interface or do some kind of fetching task or something like that. So to do that, we need to use what's called the on change modifier. Now, as the name implies, this modifier allows us to monitor a given state value for when it changes. So the code inside of on change will change will uh, you know execute every time the value changes. Now how exactly do we uh, use that? Well, if we go into Xcode and we first take a look at what we have for our starter project, When we run our code, you can see we have a nice big Apple logo symbol right here in the center of our window and above our Apple logo, we have a toggle switch. This toggle switch, when the value is changed to true, we want to rotate the, um, we want to rotate the Apple logo upside down. And then when it's toggled off, we want it to be right side up. All right. So that is so so that is kind of what we want to do, right? And when we look at the code again, when we go all the way down here to the bottom, we can see on our image we are also going to animate our change. So I have an animation modifier that takes in a spring and this spring animation only has a duration. Everything else is the default values. Uh, the duration is gonna be two seconds. So it's a little bit slower of an animation, but it should be fine. Um, and then we're going to animate the, any changes to the rotation state as its value. All right, so with that, that is all we need to uh, worry about at this moment. Now, let's go ahead and add our on change modifier. This can be put on any one of our views, but I'm gonna put it on the toggle because that way uh, when I'm you know going through my code, uh, you know, arrowing through all the lines, I kind of know what view on change is being applied to. So we'll say dot on change of, and this is going to be some equatable value. So any value passed in here has to be equatable, has to conform to that protocol, and Booleans do. So we'll say is upside down, like that, and then we need to give it a closure. So inside of this trailing closure, we're going to define code that gets executed every time this Boolean state changes. We'll say if uh, we'll say if uh, is upside down. 
So if this is true, we want to set the rotation equal to 180. Otherwise, we want to set the rotation back to zero. All right. So if we save this now and we run our code, let's go ahead and toggle the toggle switch. And there it is, our Apple logo is upside down. Now let's turn it off. And it rotates back to zero degrees, so now it's right side up. We can do that again. Now it's upside down. Rotated back to zero degrees. And now it is you know, right side up again. All right. So that is our simple example of how we can detect when state changes and execute custom code when, when uh, you know, whenever that state changes and kind of base uh, that code, that custom code on the current value of that state. Thank you all so very much for watching. Make sure you leave a like on the video if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't. Uh, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're, so you're always notified of new uploads, uh, new videos to the channel, as well as follow me on Twitter so you can see more stuff from me because I, uh, I tweet quite a bit over on Twitter or X or whatever you want to call it. So anyways, this pretty much does it. Thanks guys. See you next time.